Mid Ak Ali is a 1947 novel by Egyptian Nobel Prize winning author Nagib Mahfouz. First published in English in 1966, its original title is Zupku al Mid Ak. It is set in a bustling back alley of Cairo, Egypt called Mid Ak Ali, whose denizens' lives reflect the larger, increasingly cosmopolitan and urbanized world of the 1940s. Mahfouz portrays Cairo as it teeters on the precipice of modernization, lurching inexorably into the modern era. The novel is also concerned with the transformations in national identity that Egyptians experienced during this decade, partly as a result of World War II and partial British occupation of Cairo. The novel describes Mid Ak Ali as a poor, narrow stretch of road off the main streets of Cairo that contains a handful of homes and stores. Each night, many local men meet in a cafe owned by Hussein Kersha. The beginning of the novel introduces a large cast of characters, these include a barber, Abbas, his friend and candy store owner, Uncle Camel, a lonely widow, Sania Afifi, her tenant, Um Hamida, who professionally arranges marriages, and her beautiful daughter, Hamida. There is also a bakery owned by a wife and husband, his Nia, and Jada. The bakery's small auxiliary house is rented by Zaida, a man who cripples panhandlers so that they can make more money. He gets his customers via a fraudulent budget dentist, Dr. Bushi. Sania tells Um Hamida that she wishes to find a new husband and asks for her help. Um Hamida is highly critical of the men in the area, believing none are eligible partners, including Abbas, who is very smitten with her. She hopes that a rich man will one day marry her and take her away from Midak Ali. Abbas, in contrast, considers the Ali his true home. Hussein Kersha, who has worked in the British Army that now occupies part of Cairo, recommends that Abbas use their occupation to make money and win the daughter Hamida's attention. Mr. Kersha is a closeted homosexual. His wife knows and is dismayed, but is unable to do anything about it. Meanwhile, a wealthy man named Salam Alwin runs a black market operation in the alley and begins to desire Hamida, while growing increasingly detached from his wife. As tensions grow between Mr. and Mrs. Kersha, Abbas decides to tell the daughter Hamida he loves her. He states that he will care for her by working in the British Army, and she agrees to an engagement. He soon leaves to serve the army for a minimum of one year. Hussein Kersha leaves the alley, bitter that Abbas has escaped poverty before him. Um Hamida finds a husband for Sania Fifi, a younger civil employee named Ahmed Effendi Talbot. Though he is not wealthy, Mrs. Afifi is elated. Salam Alwan asks Um Hamida for permission to ask for her daughter Hamida's engagement. Um Hamida is shocked to hear that she is already engaged to Abbas. When she finds Salam Alwan to break the news, she learns that he has just had a heart attack. Still, the momentary possibility of marrying a rich man compels Hamida to cancel her engagement to Abbas. She later meets a middle-class man, Ibrahim Faraj, during a political rally in Midak Ali. Salam Alwan recovers from his heart attack, but decides not to pursue Hamida for his own health. Ibrahim takes Hamida to his beautiful home in a wealthier part of town. She becomes distraught after quickly realizing that he intends not to marry her, but to train her to become a prostitute. Hamida moves in with him anyways, learns how to speak English and dance, and learns the ins and outs of the trade. She adopts the prostitute named Titty and continues to cling to the hope that Ibrahim might love her. Having been laid off from the army as the end of the war approaches, Hussein Kersha returns to Midak Ali with his wife and brother-in-law. His father, initially angry at his return, becomes infatuated with his brother-in-law and lets them stay. Dr. Bushi and Zaida are caught grave robbing to steal a dead man's gold teeth. Mrs. Zania Afifi pulls out her own gold teeth which were implanted by the false doctor. When Abbas returns to Midak Ali, Uncle Camel tells him that Hamida has vanished. He soon finds out that she is with another man and seeks revenge. When he finds her, she is in the middle of a fight with Ibrahim and tells Abbas that he abducted her. She tells him where Ibrahim will be the following Sunday. Radvan Hussaini leaves for a pilgrimage to Mecca and advises Abbas to control his passions. Abbas ignores him and instead tells Hussein Kersha that he intends to get back at Ibrahim on Sunday. They go to a bar where they witness Hamida flirting with British soldiers. He throws a glass at her face, greatly injuring her. The British soldiers beat Abbas to death. Midak Ali reels from the tragic death, but soon rebounds. Hamida's physical and emotional wounds begin to heal, and she reconnects with her adoptive mother. Mr. Bushi's old apartment is occupied by a new family. 
The alley expectantly awaits Radwan Husseini's return from his pilgrimage to Mecca, suggesting its eventual return to Harmony. Related summaries, books by Nagib Mafuzarabian Knights and A Children of Jibalawi Half a Day Palace Walt Thief in the Dugsabalawi. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.